What I'd like to see is the federal government to do their job and to stop the migration from coming across and help the state of Texas and other states that are helping Texas stop the illegal migration coming across the border. State lawmakers tell me that there has been a large increase of immigration in Texas and that the federal government has done little to help combat the problem. They have to be fed, they have to be clothed, they have to be educated, they have to go to schools. Yeah, so who pays for that? We do. Why should we pay for illegal immigration? Border prosecutor Nelson Barnes says in the last two years, more than 1,800 smugglers have been arrested in Edwards County. Uh, one of which is the smuggling issue because we have so many smuggling cases. There's thousands of smuggling cases pending in the border counties, uh, which have led to public safety concerns because many of those then involve an evading arrest or a high-speed chase, and we've had multiple fatalities caused by that. Last week, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that the federal government has the authority to remove the razor wire Texas installed at the southern border. The bottom line is, is we need to stop the migration from coming across. We need to stop the drug traffic. We need to stop the sexual uh, transition of people coming across. And we need to also make sure that we keep the cartel out of Texas. I asked our state representatives for their solutions. What do you think the solution is? Uh, Joe Biden out of office. Legal challenges between Texas and the federal government have been going on for years, but intensified when President Biden first took office in 2021.